Queer Tango is taking over New York City. I chased this to El Cid restaurant. Went inside, and towards the back, there was a queer tango class. Tangoing, but not being restricted by their gender and what their roles should be. So I spoke to Jack, who teaches tango. You have to give up your ego to dance with somebody. You have to let go of your life. You have to be in the present. You have to be totally committed to the person you're embracing and accept them. So one of the challenges that he had back in the 90s as a gay man was that he actually got kicked out from places because he wanted to dance with other men. I remember in the late 90s actually being told to please leave you know, or please stop dancing with this man because we're not comfortable with that. That would never happen today. I also spoke to Lexa, who's a lesbian. She was teaching the class. She had a similar experience where she also was kicked out of places in the late 90s because she wanted to only dance with women. I can dance anywhere now. I feel good about that. It gets a little bit better every time, but I think a lot has happened this year. So maybe it's the time. So that's why they created Rainbow Tango, where you can come every Tuesday night and tango, where you can feel comfortable a man asking another man to follow him or a woman asking another woman or asking a man to leave. Then came Claudio. He's the first man to actually compete at the World Tango Championships in heels. And he and his partner, Sydney, did a whole routine for everybody in the restaurant. I asked Claudio, why did you choose to wear heels? It was the first time in the World Championships in Buenos Aires that they permitted same-sex tango. And because he prefers to dance in heels, since he prefers the follower's role, he decided to wear the heels right off the bat. Tango actually has its origin in the whorehouses of Buenos Aires. Outside of those brothels, it was men dancing with men who were tangoing. Tangoing did not happen in society. It was an evolution where now tango is what it is today. It started with men and men, so it's almost like what's old is new again. I'm just happy that someone else other than females have to wear heels now. I hate those things.